And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiasts. I'm Jewel, just Jewel, and this is C. This week's episode is another good one. We'll be featuring carries from Kaiser, Spider Co, Amare, Kershaw, Case, and Kaiser. So Kaiser's definitely on the docket for today. Sounds like it. All right. Before we get started, we just want to let you guys know that the AK Q and A with Mike Bellencamp is officially online. So go watch it. Links in the corner as well as in the description if you want to check it out. Yeah, so go check it out. It's great, not that I'm biased or anything. Of course not. Let's get started. Kicking it off with the Kaiser Assassin. That's great. So two options for this. There's red micarta and green micarta. That's we have two. both. So this button lock, that's right, you heard correctly, button lock, is 7.28 inches overall with a 3 inch 154 cm steel blade that features jimping and is deployed with the flipper stud, jimped, or I guess you could do it with the uh, button lock system as there well. There you go. Handle comes in red micarta and green micarta, sports a reversible tip up, stainless pocket clip, lanyard hole, and backspacer. Designed by Carlos Elsner, who also designed the other assassins. The CDC is available for just 69 bills. From AtlantaKnife.com. 48 bobs. All right. No, we won't go into that. Going first. Well, this is interesting. Can't say I'm surprised with the appearance of a button lock on this Kaiser. Worked well for Civivi, so they thought, why not? Mm -hmm. I can say that this has very smooth opening and closing. Overall, the knife fits the hand well, too. I also like the reversible clip. Kaiser's new claim of fame, I feel like, is going to be the great folders for 154CM for $69. I think there's a lot of them. Lightknife.com. So, that's great. All right, so. Go ahead, what do you think? Ooh, I think somebody's got a little angry. Um, I like this knife. It's very nice. Um, button lock. I'm good with button lock. I like how you can open it that way. Stay open. No, don't come. Oh, stay open. Either way, um, I think it's well put together. I'm not big at this little piece right here, but the other, back other than that, yeah, it kind of has that uh, bike chain look. I'm okay with that, but I mean, I think it's a really nice knife for the price, quality material. I'd say, way to go, Kaiser. Been a while since we said that. <laughs> Sorry, well, I think that's going to be the last time we say it today, but I wow. digress. Coming up next on the table is the Kershaw Allegory. Wow. Yeah. There's only one option available. The two-bladed non-locking slip joint includes both a clip point and a spear point blade. The knife is 7.1 inch overall when fully deployed. While each 7CR17 MOV blade is 3.1 inch, satin finish, and it's under 0.1 inch thick. Closed, it's about what, four inches? Mm -hmm. All right, decent pocket carry. Polished canvas micarta handle and a stainless steel bolster. Opened with nail neck. Each plain edge blade is <clears> perfect <throat> for the average Joe pocket, weighing just 2.7 ounces with steel liners. It's got the traditional pocket folder look, as well as the good edge retention, toughness, and wear resistance. For just fifty-four ninety-nine from AK. Landknife.com. There it is up there. All right, thoughts on this one. Thoughts on this one. Well, I like when uh, Kershaw does their pocket folders. They did one last year, or maybe it was the year before the Gadsden one. Um, A while ago. I can't remember how long. You know how that works. Two blade. That's nice. I mean, it's almost big enough it could be a back pocket folder. So, you know, for a backup knife, it's very nicely made. Seems like it's uh, it's way above charade standard. You're not going to have any problems <laughs> there with the uh, broken Yeah, parts. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Not for them. I'd have one. How about you? What do you think? Well, I think it's very different for Kershaw. I know they did one or two before, but mm -hmm. the, I feel like if they're going to try and break into this market, I don't think it's going to quite work for them. Because there's Case, and there's Buck, and then there's previous charade, and then the new charade. So I feel like it's going to be difficult for them to do that if they're going to. I think they're just taking advantage of their multi multiple outlets where they place knives. It's an opportunity to put a pocket knife out there. And the people who buy Kershaw, you give them something else that they don't normally get. 
I think it is pretty well done too. I mean, it's not my flavor of cake, but it's nice. I agree. All right. Up next, her flavor of cake. A new case mini trapper. But first. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, as well as ring the bell. You will not get the latest videos or see our reviews if you don't ring it. Okay? So you want to be connected, hit it. You'll get our content and be automatically entered into our fantastic giveaways. Speaking of which. It's time. The ultimate dun 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 dun. B Knives prize pack giveaway has reached its conclusion. Oh. We're going to announce the winner right here, right now. So the winner of this giveaway, who is taking home the astounding, ah, oh, I did that badly. The astounding. There you go. Flagship V Knives atmosphere with titanium handle, S35 VM blade, and don't forget the riches. And a three V sharpening system and box is oh i get to do it yeah you get to do it katherine gardner you you are the winner you are you are good yep so make sure to email sazanalineknife.com to claim your ultimate v knives prize okay so let's just get real for a second when there are winners yeah they feel like that there's losers yeah so for those who didn't claim something this time because we know there's some <laughs> oh of you gosh. You get another chance. So right now on both YouTube and AK's blog, we are giving away another V knives. No, I'm just kidding. Another. I see what you did there. What? You put them down to build them up. Uh, nice job. It's the whole, uh, you build her up, you break her no, down. Right. Hammer thumbs. God, you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but you're still here. Yeah. Get my Is the tour bundle. You will receive a brand new field 2.0 with this really nice leather sheath, fluted handle, 154 cm steel, all 100% made in the USA, as well as, this is the best part, not the knife, a Tor snapback trucker hat. I know. I can I gotta sense tell you, the sizzling excitement. This is one I want to win. I'd like to have this, if we could do a Winkler giveaway, mm. I'd have to call David and be like, please give us something for or free. Ken Richardson or maybe uh, the Ralph Dominator giveaway. Yeah, yeah I'd love, <laughs> love to do those, but yeah. you know. All right. <clears throat> so make sure to answer the question to be entered. Link is in the description. As always, Joel's on top of that. Okay, back to the table. So this is the case Bermuda. We don't do a lot of case. We sell a lot of case. So we thought, you know what? We better start showing some of it. All right. So okay. Bermuda green, this one. Bermuda Obviously, green. these come off colors, blade styles. You know how that works. But right now, this is the one we got. So two blades on this trapper, spay and clip point, both made of true sharp surgical steel. The clip is 2.4 inch and the spay blade is 2.5, which is big enough to take care of my cat. Mm -hmm. Both sport a mirror polished finish. As you can tell. Oh, by the way. The, su the, <laughs> the Swell Center Jacks have been unvaulted and they're back in stock too. Sorry. That's, that's, mm -hmm. Thanks for that s subtle interlude. They'll there. be gone by the time we... Probably. <laughs> okay, closed. This folder is 3.5 inches, but is 6.2 when opened. Handle is, as you mentioned, the Bermuda green bone with the Crandall Jake type of uh, pattern. Finally, the slip joint features a 6207 SS pattern there stamp. Yes. Yep. Was made in the USA. Comes with a tin. He can't beat that. I know. You go store this thing for like 50 oh, years. The tin. Might and well it's just $54.99. Look at that. Dollar a year. From landknife.com. Wow. A year. You go store it for about 50 years. Oh, you're very. When enough. you pull it out 50 years from now, that'll be a hundred and fifty dollars. Optimistic, knife. they're gonna make it. Or that long. three rubles. I'm not sure really? which one. Really, <laughs> really, from a landknife.com. <laughs> you're up. Alrighty. Oh well, look, I have some case knives. Do you know that? I have a couple of Karenites. Um, Karenites. I have a couple of the patriotic ones. Just things that I kind of picked up along the way. I'm a big uh, buy knives when I'm out person, so if I find something that is reasonably priced, I'll buy it also. So I'm big on. I like case. They're nice. Mm. I don't really carry them a whole lot. But. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of case, just simply because they just do. Not her type of cake. Old, older traditional pocket knife styles, which is not really my thing. I mean, it's a case. It's a mini trapper. It works well as well as cases other knives. It's just as nice as those. I will tell you this. 
that comes with the tin or that uh what was that thing last week the samala <laughs> i forgot what the it was Sam the wesson Samla. i would take that it comes with a tin mm -hmm. definitely use this for something else i mean other than that there's not much to say i mean it's a good knife pocket knife for people who like the pocket knife styles there you go all right okay that does lead us to the latest folder amari field bro models there we go Yep, so they were originally offered in a plain black and gray titanium. Mm -hmm. There are now <clears throat> three new models. A blackout, a gold, and a jewel jade. Which is why it's on the table. Yeah. We've got the blackout one and the jewel jade G10, of course. It's still 7.6 inch overall with a 3.3 inch satin finish. The G10 steel blade. This one's the black finish. Open with dual sided thumb studs. Mm -hmm. This handy EDC features a Mari slide lock mechanism. Show it to him. There it is. Yeah, hold on. We didn't get a chance to yeah. loosen that one up a little bit and put a little oil on that. That's all right. Put some oil on that. You better put some water on it. Accessible for both left and right-handed users. Yep. So it also has black hardware, like the screws, pivot cap, tip-up reversible pocket clip, lanyard hole for additional attachments all right yeah. and they're just 96.50 at ak.com yep well i liked the original amari field bro with the one with the black handle and the satin finish um i always wanted more colors from amari and i'm so glad i got them in jewel jade you can't beat jewel jade okay i do think the locking system is very similar to like the axis lock of sog or williamson copenhagen or whatever you said last. yep or like the pivot lock on gerber several other ones it does work well <clears throat> it's a very good folder in my opinion what do you think see i'm right there with you i like these when they first came out i like them better now because uh i do like a little bit of style with mine i'm not big on blackout i never really have been i did like the blackout proponent but you know, I kind of like a little color. That blue's kind of mine, and that, mm, your color there. I like it, too. So, how about that? Mm. All right, really quickly, we just want to mention and show the next knife, the Spyderco Volton Subhilt. So, it does come in a mini, and I hear there's also an auto version, but I've never seen it, so don't quote me. We're featuring this model, which is not an automatic nope. okay first time we've ever been able to feast our eyes on this bad boy automatics in june so this version is 8.687 inch overall with a 3.75 inch plain edge cpm s30 v steel blade this is the only spider code that features a blade thumb stud and spider coast patented thumb hole look at that look at that that's nice the thumb the thumb stud on this one is the stop pin for the lock so we don't normally tell you that but We'll go ahead and toss it in there this time. Designed by Butch, how is that pronounced again? Volton. Volton, a premier maker of high-end customers. Peloton, of custom folders. I don't know. And Call the whole thing I've off. never met him. And Automatic Nice, this carry eloquently conveys class. It sounds like Peloton, I feel like, so it's Val Valaton. It's the provost. Of it is, the, I've uh, always wanted to meet the provost. I always want to ride I can one. brunch with the provost. All right, blade has hollow ground primary bevels along with a faceted flat ground tip for top-notch cutting performance and point strength. Handle is this really nice black polished G10. You can tell I like that. Mm -hmm. uh, with brushed stainless bolsters. There's also the stainless black finish four position pocket clip. Yeah, I know. And a lanyard hole. If you're gonna have pocket clip, I like mine four position. Finally, this liner lock is offered from AtlanticKnife.com for just two seventy three seventy. All right, you know I just noticed. Mm. Man, is G ten versatile or what? It is. It is. It never gets mentioned, but how different it is between different knives. Like some is like really rough. This one's polished. I mean, it's amazing. Sometimes I it looks know. like Macarta, and you're like, that's not Macarta. No, it's G ten. I had that happen just the other day. Yep. Well. I really think this is a quality made knife. I mean, it just looks high quality, especially with the polished G10 and the seamless flow between the bolsters and the scales. Mm -hmm. I liked that Spyderco did something so different with the help of like the hole and the thumb stud. It's different for them. And I like the slimness of the handle. I know it's older, but still, I didn't get to see it this time. 
I've never seen it before myself. Exactly. I've seen it in pictures. But I mean, yeah. it's not really. I wouldn't. I wouldn't personally carry it, but it's stunning all the same. So it's kind of like a stove pipe. Is that what it's called? <laughs> is that the? Yes. Is that the other one? I think this one's better. Than this I do too. One. I like it also. I like the thickness of the knife. It's it's different. Same. I mean, all knives are the same. They fold and lock in place, but that one just looks different. Feels different. Kind of has an old spider coat look to it. All right. Next and last yep. um, is the Kaiser Comfort. Only one option. For longer for that. Red. Yep. So. Probably going to stay one option. This folder is seven and a half inches overall. 3.25 inch 154 cm steel blade. Now there's a plus for it. Yep. It's got a flat grind. 0.125 inch. That's an eighth. Thick. Plate edge, stonewash finish, and jimping. jimping. Two pluses. Mm -mm. About to Deploy with front flipper. Oops. There you go. Yep. There went the pluses. A little bit of grease. This there. red G10, there you go, handle folder is outfitted with lanyard hole, tip up, deep carry, stainless pocket clip, and steel liner lock. Designed by Michael Pretesh, this liner lock weighs just 5.9 ounces. Operates on washers and it's just $69. Langknife.com. Yep. I'm going to let you go first. You really want to know what I think of it? I feel like we already should know what you think of it because. Well, I never take the Lord's name in vain. <laughs> well, good. Well, good. It's a brick. Um, and not like the camera. I don't know, man. It's Actually, the... I might rather have a brick than. It's a fire engine. <laughs> it is gigantic. It's a few things. I mean, you can put your hand on it. That's for sure. It has like a Colt Brute size, almost. Yeah, you and just like insulted the Colt Brute. I'm not even sure you knife. can do that. Well, it, it's it's a big, bulky like a Colt Brute. I feel like it would need it needs not a choil. A because that's what it needs. That's what you point out. <laughs> it needs a choil. Okay. It needs it needs a loser front flipper. It needs to I, I, look. It's an interesting design. It's a little bulky. I just. Right now, I don't know whether to like it or hate it. Okay, it's an it's oh, I can an odd, help you with that. I just hate it. Odd it's shape. It's a front flipper. Yeah. It's wow. It's different, but hold on. If someone took that out, you'd be like, "What the heck is that?" Is that it's a comfort so, in your pocket? It's so different. That's that's great. That's great. It's also got the 154 cm steel for sixty nine dollars. So that's good. That All is right? possible. And I actually like the color. Okay. Yeah. It's a very nice red. Santa like comes that. in that color. I kind of like and it too. And who doesn't like Santa? I know. I know. Jeez. But I could also say that Satan's hat's that color too. And who likes Satan? <laughs> oh, Satan wears a hat? <laughs> Only on Sundays. Oh. oh how do, why does he wear it? What? He's a he? Well, it's... It. When she pulls up, she What's don't look like... Oh. oh. All right. Okay. Wow. What about those? Interesting discussion there. Okay, so yeah. Gotta read my next book and comes out. I went to Sunday Easter dinner with Satan. That's the title. That's mm -hmm. that's great. All right. How does she get the hat over her horns? I don't. <laughs> Seems complicated. Uh, those are hidden in her bun. Oh, okay. That was the final carry for this episode. Make sure to like, share, yeah. comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell. Yeah. So you can be, so you can join with AK and all its content. And you can be entered in the latest giveaways here on the YouTube, which right now we're doing the tour oh, man. bundle giveaway with the Fail 2.0 and the Snapback Trucker Hat. Yeah. We're also hosting on AK's blog, so enter anywhere on those. Answer the AK trivia question, you automatically be entered. Links in the description yep. below. Joel's got some big ones lined up. Okay, favorites. Here, I'll give you yours. Mm. Yeah, that's not my favorite. Okay, so I'm thinking, you know, I know I said this isn't my style, but it's kind of growing on me a little. Mm -hmm. But but I feel like it's I feel like it's gonna be the Kaiser. Are you? Yeah. Are you going it? Going the Guess Kaiser what? Assassin. I'm going Kaiser Assassin too. It's just it's just nice, and it's the price is right, Bobby. It's just. <laughs> It's 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 nice. Yes. Yep. I agree. I like the green one and the red one. I am good with both. I like them that much. I like much. the red one better. I'm, I'm big on button locks. I like the whole being able to swing the blade freely. Swing 
Hello. Even though I still have a spider carry that I can Look at that. Look at that. I've been on rat carry for the last week, too. I don't know. Okay, hey, Kayers, make sure to let us know what your favorites were. And if there are any knives you'd like to see us do five-minute reviews of, you just let us know. Oh, yes. We're going to be doing a lot of five-minute reviews. Mm -hmm. With that, I'm C. And this is... Joel. Just Joel. And we are... Signing off.